My name is Mitchell Sheldon from the Dymatic Dress team. Our concept was initially based off expressing emotion through dimatic and animalistic behaviour. We came up with the ideas to incorporate this into a dress and our initial blank model prototype was based off spikes that would extend out of a dress based on data stored in the cloud through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi sensors. Upon visiting China, we travelled to Hong Kong Polytechnic University where we were assisted by some really helpful and nice local students. Our idea morphed from spikes to inflatables as that seemed more achievable over the period of our visit. We set to work testing out our idea with balloons, proving to ourselves it could work. We needed an air compressor however, so in the meantime I experimented with various sensors such as pollution and touch sensors. I also tested out a NeoPixel light that we were going to put on the dress, which I got to work initially but later on it stopped working despite my attempts to fix it. The next task I worked on was developing the opening mechanism for the cape on the dress. I managed to get the motor set up so that they could open and close the cape by pulling some string. However, due to time constraints, we didn't make the cape. In the meantime, we found an air compressor, which we incorporated into the dress. It was a bit hacky, but we managed to inflate the badge on the dress, and our final dress ended up looking like this. This was my first trip overseas and my cultural experience was amazing. I met so many great locals and explored some truly amazing places like the Forbidden City and the Great Wall of China. I really left my comfort zone in new different things every day, trying to communicate with the locals and even normal everyday things like trying to cross the road when everyone drives like crazy. One thing that also surprised me was the amount of smog and pollution. I had heard it was bad, but I could never actually imagine it. Overall, this trip was one of the most enjoyable things I've done in my life, and I can't wait to go back to China in the future.